What's up guys? This is your boy, the one and only, the Amateur Prepper, and today I'm going to show you guys how to program your BTEC GMRS Pro uh, using the app, actually, on a Android or iOS. I have Android, so that's what we're going to be using for today. So first things first, as you see, nothing's up. I'm going to scroll up and go to BTEC. All right, so here we are within the app, and you'll see that everything I'm doing is the same, okay? So that way, we're, we're all on the same page here. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn on your radio here. All right, now that it is up, turn the volume up here. We're going to go ahead and click to start. And let it find it. Couldn't find it. Let's do, oh, that's because I'm on the wrong one. Duh. Du, du, du. Oh, let's see. Got my screen app recorder here messed up. So let's go back to VTech now. Hey, I don't claim to be the pro at everything, but this is definitely going to work. So now let me go down to uh, the actual VTech Pro here. Now that it is connected, okay? So there are two different ways to actually do this. The first one, which is for me, if you're going to set it, well, well, we'll start out a channel, then we'll go to group. So let's go to 14, press and hold, and now we have a new channel, and you can edit any way you want. So just, you know, put in there, test, uh, frequency, uh, 50. You can do your offset, GMRS channels, so four. Uh, I don't know, let's just do that one, 462, yada, yada, yada. All right, the next, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, tones or the CTCSS or DS, CS, DCS. Well, I don't know, let's just do 85.4. That one will do the same, 85.4. Now you have Disable TX. This is great if you're using any other radio. So say you want to listen to a ham channel on a GMRS radio. Um, the software will not allow you to do that. Uh, you can listen, but you cannot transmit it out on. However, if you use, that's that's on the BTEC. So this radio will not allow you to transmit out of this radio. However, there are other radios. Uh, its counterpart, the VGC, uh, will let you transmit out, and it uses the exact same protocol app. It might be a different app, or you can use the VTEC app to program that. So uh, that is a good feature still to keep in there. I have one radio that I use the VTEC app to program, and I disable any ham frequencies that are on there. So that way I do not uh, accidentally uh, transmit out, upset anybody on local repeaters. Uh, you have your mute function. Uh, myself and a friend on the mute function, somehow his got turned on on a frequency and he couldn't hear anything coming out of that. He could see it. He could, he could see everything light up. It was coming to the radio. He just couldn't hear it. We looked at it, found out that the mute was on. Talk around. Talk around is really good. Uh, if you're using a repeater close by and you're not quite close enough, say I was meeting up at the exact same location, uh, is nice so you're not uh, disrupting uh, the repeater too much. However, you still take hold and transmit into the repeater to go around. Just most people can't hear you. All right, allow scan. I always use the allow scan. And of course, your pre de emphasis. Okay, so here you would hit save. And now you can see the GMRS 07 is now on my 14th channel. And if I hit it, on 14, 
it'll actually, there we go, let's see if we can do it a little bit better. And that's my channel 14. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that for now because I do not need that channel. The second way, now you can go into device settings or settings. There's two different ones. You can go into device settings, I want to show you, and you've got all this different squelch level, general size, connection management, scanning, channel and groups. If you program it in channel and groups, it'll go straight to the radio for this radio only. Now, if we go back and we go to settings, instead of device settings, you actually hit settings. Now you see you got a different, this is the app settings. You can go into channel manager, and this will, every channel that you have programmed, into this app will be located here. You can add channels, take them out. Channel group manager. I've actually created my own list here that I use pretty much whatever I want. Uh, these are all the frequencies that I want to listen to. So if you notice GMRS SO7 is here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that just because I don't need it. All right. So let's go to channel 14. Same exact thing. Uh, if you notice, there's not much stuff here. If you actually hit down the arrow here, it'll bring all that same stuff up. And you do the exact same thing, whatever you want, yada, yada, yada. You can hit share, test, save, all that stuff. Now, what I want to show you, I'm going to discard that for now, is let's go here. Okay. If I hit share, it's going to, you can do copy. And what it actually does I'm going to send, let's see, eh, I'll do it and I'll just blank out all this information. All right, so we're going to do copy this text, start. That information that I just sent him is for a local repeater that's coming in in about a week or two and just wanted him to have the frequency so he can program it into his radio. So it's a really nice system to actually use. So uh, I'm going to save, save, I do channel group one. Now on my radio, I have different, let's see if we can get this to focus. Eh. As you see, I'm going through all my different groups, channel groups here. So I'm going to keep it on channel group one. And let's go back here. And as you see, even if I change it on the radio, it changes right here. Let's see if I can. It actually will change within the app. So the app is very convenient. When possible, reschedule. WRVS 778. So I actually have my bill there. WRVS 778, radio check. And we can actually see that it's going out. So we will come back to me here. WRVS 778. WRVS 778. Okay, so we're testing this out here. WRVS 778. Hmm. <laughs> let's go into port 550 and let's just see what happens if we change this up a bit. WRVS 778. WRVS 778. Oh, volume was down. WRVS 778. Alright, let's try this again. Mute's off. Okay. Talk around. Save. WRVS 778. Which brings the monthly 
WRVS seven seven eight. WRVS seven seven eight. What do we have? Ha. It was just working a second ago. See? We're, we're, we're learning this together. WRVS 778. WRVS 778. WRVS 778. WRVS 778. Okay. What is going on here? Okay. Give me a second, guys, here. Let me try to find the temperature. Of, the temperature of any three at Muskogee. Let me see what it says here. Guys, I will fix that. So I actually got the frequencies wrong, actually. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and go through. Uh, but yes, that is definitely a way to actually get everything corrected. Save changes, channel group one. And that is basically how that works. Uh, this radio is programmed correctly. However, my... BTEC 50V2 is not programmed correctly, so I need to get that corrected. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. If there's ever any questions, let's uh, feel free to ask, and we can always work on it together. But either way, for now, take it easy.